counterfeited stolen items at Buganda Road Court. This follows an ongoing police probe that unveiled the racket after concerns by some neighbors. The raid showed motherboards of used phones and laptops reportedly stolen in Uganda, then repackaged and exported to China. And these motherboards uh, for the phones we suspect were snatched from Ugandans. There were also wildlife exhibits like tortoises, pangolin scales and fish maw also recovered from this house. This is not a phone processing plant, but a makeshift control room with over 2,000 phones, each connected with a Ugandan SIM card in the names of certain individuals. Several Airtel and MTN new lines are visible. So far, police investigations show that these are used for financial crime, especially on the WeChat social media. We note that these phones were connected to an online platform called WeChat. This is basically a Chinese-owned platform and it is used for messaging and financial transactions. Now, the preliminary investigations we've had indicated that there were so many financial transactions done on that WeChat. And uh, basically the targets were Chinese. Whether there are some other transactions that have been done that compromise our financial institutions and even the security generally. Uh, there is also something uh, we have also noticed that all these telephones which are up are bearing the Ugandan telephone lines of Airtel majorly with over 1,895 SIM cards and also MTN of around 223. Well, uh, this is one of the rooms that uh, these Chinese have actually been uh, sleeping in, as you can see, uh, the bed sheets and the duvets. But again, according to police, uh, they've picked interest in another potential crime, that is smuggling. Because in this room, we have boxes and boxes of cigarettes. And uh, if I can read here, it's uh, sept walls. And according to police, they're investigating how these boxes of cigarettes got into the country. And still, they're yet to find out if it's actually one of the types that is allowed to enter the country. According to police, some of these suspects were also transacting business without work permits as many entered the country using visitors' visa. Ali Mivole, NTV.